Welcome to Xinjiang.、Uh, this is the Baiyanggou.、Uh, this is actually a vacation resort area type.、Um, came here to relax, have a vacation, and、uh, well, it's not really my type of thing to come to this sort of places. I'm more of a you know. Jump into the wilderness, kind of thing. This is a lot more developed. Look at the amount of tent, and look at the far end. There are horses. So, the to ride horses is fifty yuan per hour. Fifty yuan is about I don't know seven dollars, something like that. Seven dollars. The horses over here, and、uh, we've been living inside. Uh, we lived over at this tent for. We lived inside this tent for the for last night. Last night, this is a Mongolian tent, and you have all sorts of bedding,、uh, our luggage, and sunroof, and well, this is actually like. This is modern technology, so it's not exactly completely、um, wild. I mean, it's all for the comfort of the guest, which is something that I don't like. I like the more rural stuff, like coal stove, wooden stove, and stuff like that.、Uh, wood fire stove, and、uh, this is. They were it was they were gonna say five hundred yuan for two nights. We're we're planning on staying two nights, but、uh, we bargained down to three hundred fifty yuan、uh, for two nights. Three hundred fifty yuan. That's、uh, I don't know. You do the you do the math. For five, something about fifty dollars. Fifty yuan. Fifty dollars for two nights, for the entire tent. Um. This is a lot better if you come with like、uh, six, seven, eight people, maybe even ten people. We can probably fit ten people inside over there, but we came with four, so it's not、uh, not a great deal. Not the greatest deal ever. Also, you can you see the eagle from far, far ahead? There's just a lot of eagles flying around. This place is filled with eagles. Like、you haven't, if you haven't seen eagles, they're just they're just over there, way over there, tiny little black dots. Kind of hard to spot, but they're over there. Over there, see, 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 flying over there. Yeah, there you go, gliding around. Oh, <coughs> kind of cold. Ah. And well, the area is very nice. We walked all the way up there,、uh, seven kilometers up. There's a waterfall.、Uh, we didn't walk all the way back. Unfortunately, the people I travel with aren't exactly travelers. Well, this girl is fine. Like, she knows what she's doing.、I'm、not complaining. But the other two just complains all, all the time. It's like I want to go home. I want to go back to Chengdu. I want to go home. And. They slept from like ten last night to ten this morning. Seriously, twelve hours. They won't even wake up in the morning, and we wanted to do some stuff in the morning, and、uh, we have to wait for these people. Yeah, they would. This girl doesn't want to leave these two behind, which is ridiculously annoying. That's why I don't travel with other people. I don't travel with girls, especially. If you want to travel, travel with guys. And seriously, if you wanna pick your friends, take take them out to like you know. If you wanna pick your friends, pick your travel partners, take them out for dinner. If they were like, oh, lamb is disgusting. This is this is so much fat. This is disgusting. Oh, I wish I was home. Yeah, don't travel with these people. Seriously, pick your friend nicely, wisely. Otherwise, you're gonna end up very very angry and very very pissed. Not gonna be happy about this. 
So now like we're stuck over here and these guys have like a million decisions to do. And I want to go do stuff like walk around in in the forest in, in, like on the prairie. I want to walk around, climb some mountains or do some shit. But these guys are like, I want to go home. Rah, 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 rah. So unfortunately, that is the situation I have to deal with. That is, that is the life. That is, that is the reality. She got that ego. Free. So, the food of, I mean, this is a vacation resort type area that developed and not very uh, actual, natural, rural type. So, um, we have to, the, the, for example, the lamb kebab over here, which will cost two, three yuan normally in the city or even in the city, like, and it costs like five yuan over here. A lot more expensive. Don't think the two dollar difference is tiny. It's huge. It's it's a difference of another couple. It's a difference of another kebab. So it's like twice the twice the amount of money. The food over here is expensive. Water here is expensive. Toilets here you have to pay. On top of the uh, living condition, it just it's just I don't know. Not my thing. You can't even just take your pants and take a poop in the prairie, in the grass. You can't even pee in the grass. And people will like run over and be like, Why are you peeing in our grass? 50 yuan. <laughs> Seriously? I have to like find a secret dark corner to pee. <laughs> Tapu Well, I'll show you guys some more shit later. Um, for the meantime, enjoy that freaking eagle. Wee. There's a lot of these. I saw like at least 10 this morning. Wait, what's he doing? What's this eagle doing? Ah. Yeah, music really loud. You can hear a lot of Lady Gaga, which is ridiculously annoying. Like seriously, come to the other side of the planet, you hear a bunch of Lady Gaga. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. I hate Lady Gaga.